affect what this is what um this is what my optimistic idea about corona post coronavirus parties is going to be like this idea that basically you know for the most part you know possession as a concept they do go out their way to book their friends and family they do go out their way to book local um or you know local or um uh, domestic artists and they're trying to prop up this the techno scene in france or in paris in general i uh, try and give those guys a platform you know it's a very open space right they're very lgbtq friendly they want to provide a, a safe place for people to go and dance and hang out if you've seen some of the events they do with boiler room the vibe is amazing it reminds me of like the glory days of greece Müller, right it's a really conscious effort to make this event more than just like getting good ideas to play it's about the community it's about the scenes about the vibe so it's no surprise that once they do the same event outdoors especially during these crazy times where people are a bit uncertain and they want a bit of respite and they want to go out and be free and have a bit of escape, this is going to be the result. And it's bloody fantastic. It looks absolutely unreal. I'll play a bit of the video for you now, but it looks like so much fun. And again, I wish I could hate. I wish I could say I don't want to go. Wish I could say that it's a bad idea, but God damn it. God damn it. I would go in a heartbeat. That looks fun. That looks fun. I don't care. I'll put it up again in the settings. Daytime dancing. Oh yeah, and by the way, look at the difference in the scene. Like, if you, and again, I think I mentioned it previously to somebody else, right? But if you're going to go out, right, and you're going to go see a DJ play somewhere, don't go see Nina Kravitz twirl around her hands and, you know, whatever, right? Or whatever else person. Go to an actual rave. Like if you're gonna break lockdown rules and you're going to go against um the government guidelines, uh yeah, whatever it may be, this is the way you should do it. Actually raving for real. This is what you should be doing. Actually raving. Not just standing there recording a video of somebody that you could see any other time of the year. Like, why would you waste your time doing that? This is what this is actually worth going out. And I think, because um, I've watched quite a few of their videos, and I think the DJs made a really concentrated effort to put on a mask on, so that was a good one. But look how fun this looks. They have the best residents as well. Like, badass, man. Of course, Anita's probably the best, the most famous one, I guess, from the crew, but so good. That's what I miss the most, man. Look at that. Look how fun that looks. Oh my god. And it really puts it, and it really put it sorry. It, it really puts into can it really puts it into um perspective how crappy like because I've I've been going to Pirate Studios a few times to record some sets. I've actually done a couple of DJ sets I recorded I'm going to upload onto my Instagram to our YouTube, sorry, so watch that out. Watch out for that. Um give you an idea on the kind of stuff that I play and stuff. And obviously prepare some mixes I'm gonna be sending out to places where I wanna go and do some DJ mixes and DJ streams for. But you know, you try and make that thing fun, you bring some drinks, hang out with some friends, you usually have a little mixing thing. It's you know it's a boogie. But it can never replicate a rave. It can never replicate, you know, hanging about with like random strangers, rubbing shoulders, exchanging sweat, funny glances, you know, pupils dilating. It can never really uh, replicate that. It can't. This is just the beauty of the rave is the rave. Everyone's dancing. There's some recording on the phone, but for the most part, everyone's dancing. Look at the difference of this. Look at the difference. It's incredible, man. The music played is far more interesting too. Not just the usual fucking people top 50. People are calling Anita wifey and stuff. And they don't get much backlash either, it looks like. I'm not too sure if it's because they don't really say stuff on social. They're a bit, you know, they just post about themselves and music and keep it moving. But there's not much backlash I've seen of these as well playing there. Online anyway. Look how fun that looks, man. No, that's such a vibe. Such a vibe. And yeah, I'm jealous, man. I'm really jealous. I'm really jealous. And again, I can't... It's 
so good. Look at that. Kids going for it, raving. And, and, and again, I don't know, man. Like, uh, What would you guys do? Again, in my, in, in my case, you know, I'm not going out anywhere, but would you go if something like this happened near where you live? Like an actual proper rave, not just booking, you know, glitzy DJs, actually booking local artists that are killing it in your scene. Um, You know, everyone's comfortable, right? It's um all it's um it's all inclusive, right? In terms of that regard, right? There's not many lads and that kind of energy there. Would you go? Would you take that risk and go somewhere like this? And again, I don't have any uh, anything bad to say about DJs playing there because they're like you know they're like mid level people. Right? I'd say maybe even just up lower mid level, right? They're probably been greatly affected by COVID more so than most, right? They're literally down to their last penny. Um. I'd imagine some of these people probably haven't had a, haven't had a normal job since they've been DJing, or the DJ has been their only job. So to try and go from that to working in a supermarket is like, how would you even go get that job? Because you've got no experience. That's the issue too. I think a lot of it. A lot of these DJs that are complaining about oh, or virtue signaling online, they should just go out and just get a regular job. But some of them don't have any experience, so I don't even know how they're gonna. Especially if you're comp- like, there's people that have been working in offices that are struggling to get retail jobs. So imagine if you're a DJ, how hard it is to you to get a job. So I don't have any anything wrong to say anything bad to say about anybody going out and getting away he's trying to keep food on the table keep roof over their heads but again i just think to myself like there is a part of me that's like could this just be could you just wait off on this as fun as it does look can we not just all wait until everything is settled down and we can all go out and rave because we're all gonna when stuff is reopened we're not gonna stop raving we're gonna be you know i'm gonna get fucked for like a month straight right back to back i'm sure people are gonna do the same thing so there's no real need to kind of push it now because you're going to go hard when re- stuff reopens. And there's going to be so much stuff open at the same time. Because you're going to try and make up for lost time anyway. As you are. Um, I don't know man. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Is this a good idea? Bad idea? Do you understand? Or are you really annoyed by it? I'd imagine so. If you, especially if you've got a family member that's been affected by it. You probably don't have any patience with this. At all. No level of understanding. I completely get that. But yeah. Interesting situation to be involved in. Again. I'll put the link down below to show you so you can watch it below. But it's on my channel. It's called Position Techno Paris 2020. I mean, or the date 220820. But I'll put the link in the show notes for you guys to check out.